X-ray production, is an inefficient process. Let's, first get into the process of, X-ray production. Electrical energy is provided, to the X-ray tube when, we set a particular KV, at the X-ray console. Electrons use this electrical energy, to achieve very high kinetic energy. On hitting the target, electrons lost their kinetic energy. Kinetic energy lost by electrons, are not fully converted to, X-rays. The loss in kinetic energy, mainly appears as X-rays and heat. Or in other words, kinetic energy is converted to X-rays and thermal energy. So, electrical energy is R. Input energy. X-ray production is our desired, output, in the X-ray tube. And heat production is a loss. What is efficiency? It is simply a ratio of, useful output energy and total input energy used in a process. Or, in other words, the fraction of input converted to required output. In case of X-ray production, it was found that, above ratio is approximately Here Z stands for, atomic number of X-ray target material And, KV is the potential difference in kilovoltage applied on X-ray console. Let us calculate efficiency in a practical diagnostic case. Suppose we are setting in 120 kV at the console and, our target is made up of tungsten, whose atomic number is 74. Efficiency equals The result is less than 1%. What we see here, only less than 1% of, input electrical energy is converted to X-ray energy. The remaining 99% of, input electrical energy appears as, heat. So major portion of input energy is wasted in, heat production. Hence, we call it an inefficient process. Variation of efficiency with KVP. From the above equation, we can say, efficiency is directly proportional to applied KV. That means, efficiency of X-ray production increases with KV and, heat production percentage will decrease with, KV. At 60 KV efficiency is nearly 0.5%. At 120 KV efficiency is nearly 1%. At 20,000 kV or more efficiency will be more than 50%. In the range 20,000 kV to 50,000 kV the efficiency approach is 100%, way above diagnostic kV range. Variation of efficiency with atomic number. From the above equation, we can say, Efficiency is directly proportional to atomic number. So, targets made up of high atomic number materials are, more efficient in producing X-rays than, targets of low atomic number material. Tungsten with atomic number Z equals 74, is commonly used as X-ray target, is more efficient than molybdenum Z equals 42. Molybdenum is used in, mammography X-ray tube as a target. Efficiency of X-ray production is independent of, tube current. Please do subscribe, keep all notification on for updates.